what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm gonna be showing you the Mac OS P ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro based on Android Pie and let me show you the system first and a lot of you guys have been requesting me for this ROM like to do this video and let me just show you how is this ROM today so here is the about section in the Android version we will see the Android version as 9 and if you are noticing this that the animations over here are a lot smoother as you can see just look at this popping up and the security patch is of October 5th 2018 and this is the as you can see the kernel version over here this is Mac OS P kernel so yeah and you, as you can see from the build date over here the, it's the 5th of November build of 2018 again based on pre-release 2 so let me go back and this is the latest build as of now of mac os p rom and let me go back again over here all the customizations are inside this mac os p settings which i'll talk about later on but first of all i have been using this rom for like couple of hours now like from yesterday night so i'll talk about some things that i have been noticing is different from other roms and some things which i have been noticing is different there is no like camera app pre-installed on this rom you have to install camera apps like whatever you need if you want to use the Mi A2's camera just flash it with Magisk if you want to flash Magisk and if you want to flash Google camera you can definitely do it and you can flash the Pixel 3 camera too let me just show you I just installed it and as you can see it's working super fine even portrait mode and stuff should be working fine because this ROM does have camera to API pre enabled and you get the toggle of camera to API so that is that the camera to api is pre-enabled you don't have to worry and let me show you that there are very few apps pre-installed on this rom as you can see from the screen i took a screenshot after installing this rom as you can see this rom has a very few apps like the stock apps so no bloatware as of now at all and one thing you will notice in this launcher is this is the quick step launcher by default and it has this google now cards to the left and everything works super fine here and over here in this launcher if you swipe down over here in the home screen anywhere in the home screen you will get this notification panel and in this notification panel you can tap on this clock or the battery let me just show you if I tap on the battery it will open up the battery settings which is cool and if I tap on the clock it will open up the clock as you can see let's just go back and you can just double tap to sleep, like make the phone to sleep and let me unlock the screen and over here let's go into settings and in gestures you will find this stuff as you can see double tap gesture you will set it to sleep so this is pretty cool and the recent panel and stuff is working super fine of android pi over here of course you can just clear them all at once and before i talk about the customizations let me show you that google pay working super fine for me but it was not working actually like from like the beginning of flashing this rom i did not flash magic though but the google pay was not working for me so all i did was to go into the settings let me just show you then apps then find google play services then go to permissions then just disable the phone app and the sms permission from here i enabled the phone app permission later on for instagram i guess but just disable this phone and sms app permission then you can set it up like this you can set up the google pay super fine you won't have any issues and one thing that i'll talk about is the apps like i restore the apps or app data backups from my google drive or google cloud but it, it did not restore for this rom i don't know for what reason but somehow it did not restore so just keep that in mind if you want to restore your google app data backups just keep this thing in mind that you might face some issues but that might be the case with my latest g apps i have flashed micro g apps by the way so it might be a problem of the g apps too but i am not sure so that is that and by the way over here in this rom you won't find any vaulty logo over here but vaulty does work super fine and here is the fingerprint scanner speed So as you can see fingerprint scanner is super fast over here so right now let me just show you the customizations because I have talked about almost everything and let's go into settings and over here we do have the digital well-being too if you need it 
and let's go back inside mac os p settings you will get all these customizations you can have the display customization you can like disable the wake up on charge you have the screen off animation and you have the expanded desktop and inside lock screen you will have this lock screen charging info lock screen torch is there and it's working super fine you don't have to worry and what else you have the show power menu option lock screen quick unlock is there face auto unlock option is there and inside status bar you have the network traffic option but note that the status bar brightness sliding option is not present over here or if it's there i could not find it so that is that and you can enable this 4g icon and stuff clock and date customizations are there and battery icon is like there and you can enable the battery percentage too and status bar items from here you can enable the bluetooth headset etc icons let's go back and inside quick settings panel you will have this quick pull down option if you need it and over here just notice how smooth this rom is and in my opinion like after pixel experience rom this is one of the most smoothest rom you will get and i am literally impressed by the smoothness of this rom so that's how it is i really like the animations and stuff over here in this rom and inside notification you will have this heads up animation you can just disable it if you want to you have this notification led light option and you have this battery fully charged option and inside navigation bar and pixel nav bar and animation option is there but by default it will have the stock androidish uh, like navigation bar not the navigation bar of android pie for that you have to go to gestures and from stock gestures you can enable the pixel gestures so just keep that in mind and we have the app options over here or app ops buttons we have the volume rocker customizations over here so as you can see it shows recent settings so from here like it's inside buttons i don't know for what reason but it's there so from here you can set the recent style to pi or audio style if you want that but you have to reboot the system ui for once if you change it and you have this enable clear all button and lot of stuff let's go back we have power menu customization and from here let me show you if i tap on restart we have this like uh, recovery and fast boot rebooting option like advanced reboot so that's cool and inside gestures we have the double tap to sleep on status bar so yeah double tap to sleep on status bar works super fine even we do have double tap to sleep on lock screen so that is cool we have the three finger screenshot gesture as you can see and inside google you will get the stock android pie gestures you, over here you will get this like swipe on home button gesture as you can see you can just re-enable it as you can see from here let's go back and right now it's working fine doing this will get you to the recent apps panel and if you just like do all the way up it will get you this like the app drawer so that's how it is let's go back and inside other we have like this fingerprint scanner vibration and we have some in-call vibration option you can even have this blink flashlight option if you receive a call or whenever you receive a call you will blink the flashlight like MIUI so that is that and inside device settings you can customize the vibrator intensity while pressing any button so that's cool and over here in display color i have to say i have never seen these kind of features in any custom rom and you can like in depth customize the color temperature of your screen if you need it this is one of the best things uh, that will offer the overall amazingly good screen customization or screen color customization so it is pretty cool and let me just go back we have ambient display customization over here and over here you will get this enable camera to api option so you can just disable it if you don't want camera to api so that is that and let me open a few apps first and show you the app open up speeds let me open chrome file explorer and just notice the app open up animations looks awesome and I have to say the ROM is like really really smooth and even gaming performance and stuff is super smooth on this ROM you don't have to worry and the battery life too I guess is super fine you do not have to worry about some bad kind of battery life or over battery draining so you won't need to worry about anything about those batteries and stuff are working super fine and as you can see the app open of speeds are super cool 
and the, all the apps are in memory so you do not have to worry about like memory management and stuff so everything is fine and you can switch between apps just like this as you can see it's pretty fast so you don't need to worry about anything so this is like one of the great roms if you want a like really good rom and let me show you that the hotspot uh, over here as you can see we have the 5 gigahertz hotspot and night light is working fine too and let's go into settings inside display over here you will get these kind of customizations like let me show you here as you can see we have the device theme option to light or dark you can change it you have double tap to wake to you can disable it if you want so that is pretty much it i guess and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and if you have subscribed already make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get notified on my next video so that is pretty much it that is all i had to say about the mac osp rom i feel this rom is great but i don't know why it's not in hda but the link will be in the description box below so you don't need to worry so thank you so much for watching guys this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now